have any redstone. Mm -hmm. So it appears not any in here. Yes, 17. Oh, and it's almost not. Welcome back, guys. This is uh, episode 3 of uh, Adventures in Minecraft, of course. Created, edited, and uploaded by myself. Um, I thought I'd upload episode 3 at long last uh, after, you know, it's been a while since I've uploaded an episode. Uh, I think this one I scheduled uh, for Monday, which was yesterday. No, possibly even even before that. Um, it's actually been some time since I recorded. Um, although the let me just see if I can find some redstone anymore. I'm trying to get as much as possible for what I've got planned. Mm, Fifty-one should do it, nevertheless. Although I don't have any repeaters, do I? Hmm. Why not? You'll see that things have changed a, a fair amount around here since you uh, since you last saw it. There's quite a bit that I've uh, done and learnt since I made the last episode. But uh, what I want to get working on today is uh, food sources, uh, farms. You know, um, I think mainly what I want to work on is uh, a pumpkin farm. Now, as far as I know, you can't eat pumpkin in the game. Uh, it's melon that you can eat, you know, because I, uh, I tend to get the two confused somewhat. Um, I don't know, I'll try. Well, I, know. I think pumpkins are purely decorative and uh, also for jack-o'-lanterns, but uh, for, for now, I just want to get a pumpkin farm set up uh, because they're... You know, you'll see I've got 59 in here. Um, they're basically easier to obtain. Easier even than... Um, well, than what? You know, this for example, um, wheat is... It takes three pieces. So one, two, three will make one bread, which will fill. I'm not sure exactly the amount of heart, but let's just say it's not a, a whole lot. So, let me just go and make a... Um, have we got a neon? Yes. Iron shovel. I don't want to be taking forever on uh, just digging out dirt. So yeah, I want to get some some farm set up. Uh, some food resources and supplies going. Basically just to speed things up because I've been playing a fair amount. Look, you'll see you from what you saw if you watched episode 2 uh, to what you just saw briefly down there in the cave. I've been working a heck of a long time on just getting little things here and there done. It's It's been, I believe, uh, almost a week since I made a video. Um, so, it's a, it's a long time to go without something, and I'm not sure how this is, is going to turn out in terms of viewership. Uh, because I tried to, you know, this series hasn't started off to the best. Um, <coughs> pardon me there, sorry. I tried to put a fair bit of planning into what I wanted this series to be like and, and what this series was going to turn out to be. Um, but that's kind of gone down the pan in terms of trying to find time <coughs> to actually record the episodes and put it all together, you know, because an episode, uh, half an hour of recording... Um, you know, there's little things here and there to do with visual graphics afterwards, audio, getting it all synced. It, you know, editing takes um, roughly an hour and something. And then you've got the uploading, of course, and, and schedules. And let's just say it's not the the easiest process to, to go through to produce uh, an episode. However, it's... I don't know, how do you pull it? Uh, rewarding? In in seeing what, what people think of your content, you know. Uh, because when you put effort into into something, you never know if it's really going to pay off. And, and that's something that I've been, 
you know, I try to get inspiration here and there from different YouTubers and, and stuff that they do and, and what's going on. I mean, I don't want to become fascinated with trying to become too much like other YouTubers uh, because then you make the common mistake of trying to imitate what they do and, you know, having your own style and stuff is uh, very much what viewers enjoy about your content. So trying to get inspiration is more what I'm after rather than trying to become someone else and copy exactly what they do uh, and I think that's something that I got a little bit lost with while I was you know switching between the the first episode and the second <clears throat> the first one I tried to be too much uh, like a youtuber called CoStar uh, basically you know I've took it more as an inspiration now uh, as opposed to um, trying to imitate every single little bit of graphic graphics that he does, you know, with his music, his his outro and stuff. And I think I've I've got a fair amount of what um, I'll put that down here for now. I've got a, like a fair idea of what I want. Uh, this series to be like you know to to pan out to be however you know um not uploading an episode for as long as i haven't is a a big risk so hopefully you're all still out there you know you still enjoy uh what i'm producing but uh it's still to be seen whether oh no, I didn't, whether it's uh, oh sorry about that whether it's actually going to pay off or not. So hopefully, like I say, you appreciate what I've got to to offer thus far uh, with regards to to content and stuff. You know, in the first couple of episodes, I've uh, talked about schedules not being able to record and I don't want that to become something that I'll mention in every single episode but uh, you know it's something that needs to be known and uh, hopefully by now you all do so it's I don't know how to, to describe <coughs> it's somewhat of a downer um, you know I've been looking to put an episode out and actually I did record an episode uh, when did I record it? Let me just mirage. Maybe three, four days ago, I recorded one, um, and then you know I forgot to press F9 on Fraps. So here I am recording a 20-minute episode, uh, and basically I got a fair bit done. Uh, I don't think I touched on this in the video, uh, but basically I was just doing little bits here and there, such as this, uh, and then. I <coughs> sorry after I after I finished recording the video I realised what had happened and then uh, let's just say I was I was fairly annoyed but uh, there was not a whole bunch you can do uh, and it's not as if I've got a huge amount of followers uh, with regards to viewers uh, so therefore I didn't feel it you know I mean I've got a Twitter um, dedicated to this channel basically. Um, it's the same name as the channel, so IBVGX, and I'm just trying to to use that to get whatever I have to say that day out to you all. So let me just see if I can break that. I can indeed. So you have to have a block underneath. So yeah, um, I've got that Twitter just so that. I can keep you all updated with regards to what's going on uh, content wise um, when the video is going to be out etc etc uh, and I did it for the first couple of episodes I I made what well, I tweeted when the first couple of episodes were going to be out and so on and so forth um, although just watch on advertise the, the account I don't think it even has one follower yet uh, so, I mean, I'll leave, of course, the name in the description 
<coughs> and on the outro as as per usual. Um, although I'd appreciate some feedback on whether that's something that you you want me to keep or whether that's something that I I should get rid of uh, because obviously when you're a bigger a bigger YouTuber uh, you know like I was talking about getting influenced by co-star outro and intro um, you know he's, he's having a Twitter account keeping viewers updated on information regarding series something that's that you should only do <coughs> pardon me sorry I've got a, a bit of a bad throat is it something you should only do when you've got a large viewer base or is it that is it something that smaller channels should be encouraged to do uh, so that so that, that they're able to use you know social networks to to grow um, and I mean I think it's I think it's something that's I need opinions on as opposed to just being you know feeling like no one's actually even interacting with the series uh, because like I've talked about it's very important to, to try and make oh, no one need that to try and make viewers feel as if they're uh, very much part of the series although if the same's not being done uh, in return <coughs> pardon me then is it worth continuing with with that idea it's a little bit of a negative topic but uh, like I say it's something that needs to be addressed just so that we all know where we stand well me mainly um, you know with, with regards to to what I do other than just upload the videos um, so I guess the ultimate question is should I or shouldn't I keep the social networking updates I mean I haven't got a Facebook page because I don't really see that as as beneficial to the series in any way shape or form and <clears throat> I don't think it would really get much oh dear sorry close up I don't really think it would get much exposure and bring many views in um, you know personally so Twitter yes or no uh, basically and anything else that you think I should be doing uh, with regards to when I'm not uploading you know interaction wise I mean I've tried to start live streaming however it's not particularly worked out so I mean because oh yeah there's a uh, certain things that you have to do uh, to to live stream you know certain things that you need to get set up and let's just say it's not been the easiest time to to try and get episodes recorded um, and put videos out because uh, it's easier to uh, record a video via live stream uh, and then upload it because it does it for you automatically although then you lose the I don't put this well you lose everything basically from being able to put custom intros in you know everything can every little thing about the series uh, suddenly disappears uh, you know the quality is also not as good so I don't think I'm gonna take that idea up I mean it cut producing times uh, hugely but uh, it's not something that should be used to produce videos as a, a main content base so that's where where the live streams go um, I noticed I got a few viewers on there although for the most part it was just spam and people that were watching for like five seconds and that was it so wasn't do these need to be hoed to grow I'll try it anyway but yeah it wasn't it didn't go too well it wasn't a huge success but uh, it was something that was fun to experiment with and <clears throat> you know like I said the idea of being able to talk to an audience live uh, put music in here and there and so on and so forth is uh, an entertaining idea somewhat but uh, 
not one that I'm going to continue with for the foreseeable future. Um, but like I say, if you if you want me to do live streams and so on and so forth, then uh, please you know just comment and then we'll see. We'll see. We can sort something out um, schedule-wise, time zone-wise, so on and so forth, uh, and see if. See if it'll work out. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so how how's it looking? You know, I've pretty much built this without talking about it. I've uh, rambled on somewhat with regards to other things that I just wanted to clear the chest about. I guess, but uh, hmm. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not too. So this is a thing that I find somewhat difficult in that recording. And it's not as well. Uh, building and recording, talking, it's uh, something that's somewhat difficult to, to do for myself. Because, oh, sorry about that, just unlocked. Um, so, yeah, some building and, and talking is somewhat difficult for myself because I don't particularly. Uh, it feels as if I'm putting on the spot, I guess, when I'm making a video. Uh, and this interlinks with not being able to record when other people are in the house. Um, but recording videos is very much awkward, uh, and I guess it's not something that you should be doing if you if you don't particularly enjoy it. Uh, however, the oh no 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 oh dear the idea oh oh run 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 oh chicken nuggets oh my oh dear lord that's a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to start. And I just opened it again. So yeah, the idea of creating videos is very much exciting for myself. However, I don't really, you know, when it comes to, to making the videos, it can be a little bit awkward sometimes. Uh, Just to to try and put the video out there and um, get the point across, you know, uh, and to talk about things here and there that have that have happened or little updates here and there. But I guess I hopefully it's something that uh, will increase, uh, you know, confidence will increase over time of, of producing videos. Because if you look back to to when Ethos Lab started producing videos. Uh, the the first set of videos, you know, it, it basically takes time to to get used to and um, to get a set schedule as as to how you feel about certain things. But uh, I'm very much trying to get used to change um, in both Minecraft and elsewhere, you know. So hopefully over time. Uh, I've become somewhat a little bit more comfortable with commentating video producing in general and then hopefully we can start growing as an audience I mean my subscriber base is very much growing uh, currently it's going up I think I've got a 16 net subscriber change for the past month uh, which for me is a fair amount um, it's very much been at a certain number for period of time and that was causing me a fair amount of headaches so now that my subscriber base is going up hopefully you know me producing videos will get uh, attraction uh, and then with more subscribers more interaction I'll gain confidence and very much start putting videos out because if if I'm able to see that people want to watch the content uh, almost on a regular basis then I will most certainly produce videos and and start putting them out there for yourselves so all I'm saying is keep keep your eyes open for for more content being produced uh, you know I don't want to get your hopes up and 
and set a set schedule but uh, something that's something that I definitely can't do for a foreseeable future but uh, more views equals more episodes uh, and that's basically you know I don't think that's unfair in asking um, I'd very much say that all that's doing is you know providing me with the uh, how do we how do I say this uh, it's I don't know well, what's the word I'm looking for enthusiasm or or drive to to produce videos so yeah more views uh, equals more episodes so we'll see how it turns out like I say I mean I'm just doing little things here and there for now to to get comfortable with the series and the idea of making commentaries because uh, I've never really had to you know the longest running series that I've had has been five episodes so hopefully this is something that we, we you know together can address uh, and then increase over time because I wouldn't want this episode to I mean in all honesty there's been controversy mm -hmm. uh, you know just between myself with regards to if I should switch back to the old world or if I should keep this one or but uh, like I say I just want to see how things are going um, and what what should be done about them so again we didn't get much done uh, I think I'm pretty much running out of time to record here but uh, you know I just wanted to to build something basically I mean it's not very attractive at all but uh, I'll work on it off camera and get it done uh, maybe move it over there or somewhere more suitable but uh, there was just some things that I wanted to get off my chest uh, and I guess I've managed to do that so I'm going to uh, end the episode here, edit it, render it and then get it onto your screens and see what you think of it so uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed somewhat more than I don't know but uh, yeah, at the very least I hope you enjoy uh, I feel as if it's been somewhat of a dim episode <coughs> Although for for some reason my my voice just decided to change uh, as to when I was practicing to record. So so yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Well, at least like grow and uh, start producing. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.